Hello guys, it's me again, Kill Switch from EOS 5 Gods Raving. So today, I will be discussing about the basic and advanced talents, refine plan, X selection, combat settings, and the skills of the Blade Master class level 110 to 119 player versus environment and player versus player. So, comment down below if which class should I do next. So let's begin with the plan. Let's start with the player versus environment DPS plan. So this is for general, daily quests, dungeons, clash of swords if you want to use blade master in clash of swords. This will also be effective. Let's start with the basic talents. So basic talent, C level talent, blossom slash, B level talent, new life, A level talent, moonshackle, and S level S level <laughs> S level talent is a Nami stance. So we are focusing on the My to form. I believe that started in level 100 plus where every blade master focuses on the My to form because of the deep talents. Especially here in 110 plus, My to form will be better than Odachi form. So let's go to the deep talents. Level 5 find weakness. Level 5, weapon, weapon Flurry. Level 3, Airborne Combo. Level 2, Flower Story. Level 5, My 2 Mastery. Level 5, Aura Slash. Level 3, Sakura Rain. And Level 5, Blade of Destruction. Level 5, War Scar. Level 5, Survivalist. And Level 1, Excitement of the Hunt. Level 5, Heavy Force. And for the last talent, level 5, Fire Essence. So that's it for the deep talent. Next, Refine Plan. Always use Dragon Slayer for player versus environment. Even in Clash of Swords. X selection, as always, will depend on you. But the X buff will be Diamond Realm. For the combat settings, the combat settings will mainly focus on my two. Void, Moongazer, Blossom Dance, Bane, Sakura Slay, and Ephemeral Beauty. Void, the reflect will not work against the enemies in player versus environment. We are only after the super armor. So you won't get knocked down. So, for the skills chosen, Moon Gazer, Red Lotus, Moon Shatterer, and Aftershock. Aftershock. <laughs> okay. So, that's it for the player versus environment DPS. This is my main plan for PvE. I also have a plan for PvE tank. This is a pure tank build. You will be the front line in your team. So this will be very useful in hard dungeons. So C level talent, excited. But remember, you won't have any damage with this plan. You are mainly focusing on tanking. C level talent, excited. B level talent, new life. A level talent, moon shackle. And S level talent, dragon's lord. Dragon lord's rat. For the deep talent, level 5. Find Weakness, Level 5 Weapon Flurry, Level 3 Airborne Combo, Level 5 My 2 Mastery, Level 2 Flower Story, Level 5 Aura Slash, Level 3 Sakura Rain, Level 5 Blade of Destruction. And now we are focusing here in the middle. Level 5 War Scar, Level 5 Survivalist, Level 5 Sturdy, and Level 5 Shadow Concealment. And the last point will be excitement of the hunt. So that's it for the deep talent. As always, refine plan. X selection and combat settings will be the same. Skills chosen will be the same except for these two. So we will choose Miss Posture Landslide instead of the Moon Shatterer. And here, Redoubtable. 
instead of night after shock. So that's it for the player versus environment tank plan. Next will be player versus player group. Let's start with the basic talents. C level talent, Blossom Slash. B level talent, Wind and Moon. A level talent, Cherry. Blossom Snow. And S level talent, Dragon Lord's Rat. Deep talent. Level 5, Find Weakness. Level 5, Weapon Flurry. Level 3, Air Bar Combo. Level 2, Flower Story. Level 5, Mito Mastery. Level 5, Aura Slash. Level 3, Sakura Rain. Level 3, Quick Slash. Level 3, Pursue. And level 5, Braid of Destruction. Basically, everything here on the Mito Talents will be maxed out. And the rest will be here for Defense. War Scar, level 5. Survivalist, level 5. Level 5, Sturdy. And that's it. Until level 5, Sturdy. I want to have this one, Shadow Concealment for Dodge Rate. But I need to sacrifice points here. So I decided not to do it. Next, refine plan will be Dragon uh, Warmonger. Always Warmonger for player versus player. X selection, Oberon for the X buff. And X skill will depend on you. Combat settings, I am still using my player versus environment here so mainly focusing on the mito form as i said i do not recommend going auto on player versus player because in odachi form the in player versus player the otachi form is still useful if you are dying use demon rage if you want to cc use moon shatter so it will depend on the situation but if you still want to auto use the player versus environment and if you want to full auto, <laughs> if you want to leave your character, then use every skill. So Void, Flash, Blossom Dance, Counter Wave, Sakura Slay, Ephemeral Beauty, Going to Blizzard, Roundhouse Skill, Azure Moon, Diagonal Slash, and your skill, Redoubtable for this plan. That's it for the combat settings. So, skills chosen. So, use Flash, Blizzard, or Thunder. I want Blizzard. Uh, so, you can freeze the enemy. Turn them to ice. For the posture, Moon Shatter. And for the skill, Redoubtable. So why redoubtable? Because in player versus player group, player versus player, you are with your teammates, with your allies. You can be more useful using this one so they can have more defense if, if, if you use this one. So that's it for player versus player group plan. Next will be 1v1. 1v1. Sea level talent, Blossom Slash. Let's go first to the A-level talent, Cherry Blossom Snow. S-level talent, Dragon Lord's Rat. B-level talent, New Life. I am using New Life instead of Wind and Moon. Because if Void runs out in 1v1, just run away. <laughs> it's only a few seconds. Just run away and then use Void and then kill the enemy. Hit the enemy again. So, because with New Life, you will deal more damage but as I said if you want to have only void if your cooldown rate is high enough to have only void then use wind and moon but for me the few seconds without void I will just run away from the enemy next will be the advanced talent the deep talent will be the same with the player versus player group deep talent so everything will be the same. Next. Refine plan, Warbonger, X selection, Oberon, X skill, 
depend on your playstyle. Combat settings, as I said, I do not recommend using auto. But if you want, you can choose any of those two that I have showed you. For the skills chosen, Flash, Blizzard, Moon Shatterer, and then Aftershock. So in 1v1, we do not use Fighting Spirit or Redoubtable because we do not gain any buff from this, only to our allies. So Aftershock, mainly focusing on damage. But again, I often use my Odachu form in player versus player. So I believe that's it. That's it for the 110 to 119 Blade Master plan. So if you guys have any questions or suggestions, please feel free to comment that down below. Thank you for watching. Until next time.